Hi, Martinez. Thanks very much for the question you sent in. Just to let you know, by the way, your model number is BBIS13400XC, not uh, BB1S, as you sent me, because I was looking for it and I couldn't find the actual machine. The other thing that I'd like to note is this machine looks like it's very new. So I would check with your landlord if it's still under warranty because you don't want to do any work on the machine unless it's out of warranty or you haven't got the paperwork. But let me address the problem for you quickly and show you what to look for on this page that I've created for you. You've got a link in the description on this video that will take you to the page because I've managed to not only get you the correct videos for diagnosing the problem and replacing the components, I've also got you the full workshop manual and the wiring diagram as well. There's over 108 pages in this workshop manual and it's quite complex going into every component on the machine, how to install it, how to actually go through the programming on the timer. Uh, it also covers every component and how to get access to it. Uh, with regards replacing any components and they absolutely explain everything. Bico are fantastic at giving the correct information and they give some very good diagnostic pages as well to show you how to go through a step-by-step -step procedure in diagnosing problems. I've also added exploded diagrams now, if it is the fan oven element, you're looking at part number 98 in the reference uh, notes here on the PDFs. And if you go down to the bottom of the page, match up 98, uh, where is it? 98, which is a circular fan oven element, 1800 watt. And these are clickable links that will do a search for the part for you. Uh, the workshop manual I've discussed, there's two videos that you really want to be watching. One is on testing the fan of an element, which is straightforward and easy. But if it's a more complex problem with a circuit board, then there is a video I've done recently on this. The circuit boards on these machines are highly complicated. Uh, they're overkill, really, for what they need to be on a cooker. Old cookers used to work on thermostats and selector switches. Now we have complex circuit boards that have relays and these relays that are on the circuit board are controlled by a memory chip and this is basically telling the machine when to turn things on and when to turn things off all through micro uh, circuitry and they're all controlled with NTC sensors uh, but everything is on this page for you and I've even put a link if it is the fan of an element so you can directly go through to it and purchase it if you've still got any problems use the contact us page uh, at the top make sure you put in detail please what the problem is you're suffering with and your telephone number so i can actually give you a whatsapp call or a skype call uh, with regards giving you some one-to-one -one help hope this helps you uh, thanks very much